Hello, Erica. I hope you're doing well. I just wanted to show you the progress that we've had. So, um, you wanted to source, I wanted to open the project record. You wanted to source this specifically. And when I actually looked into this, this was a project a custom field. I just want to show you real quick. Um, list entity fields, right? If we go into here, I'm on a cursor. This is actually brought into the Blue Banyan bundle. And you can see that it's actually sourcing from the customer list. And it's just pulling information from there. And you can see the sourcing pattern here, right? So I try to emulate this. But for what for whatever reason, the the item fulfillment, so this is so the projects are a form, an entity form, while the item fulfillments are actually transaction forms. For whatever reason, while I was trying to set up the exact same um the exact same sourcing, it did not allow me to find this parent or any of this type of hierarchy. Um, I can double, I can spend some more time checking into this, but I wanted to kind of get you some results immediately. So what I did was instead of pulling it from the customer record, I actually pulled it from the project record and pulled this name from now, Catherine Turner. So you can see in here, I've successfully pulled that name in here. So it actually be the combination of these two names. I don't know if that's too much or too spread out. I can get this, try to get this combined to concatenate or try to source it just like it's doing within the project record um, shown here, right? I can I can spend some time um, sourcing it, just depend, I just wanna show you this was the easy solution that I got this to source immediately without any issue. So you can see it here. However, you can see with your guys' settings, how you guys set up that the information is actually saved with the form. So if we go to edit, you can see that it, the home owner information is actually stuck over here so in order to get it while well, I set it up, um, it's gonna have you're gonna have for the old ones, we're gonna have to go to IE item fulfillment and be able to see the information here instead of it down here. Specifically, um, in the future, I set this up to be actually uh, preferred. Um, so in item fulfillments in the future, so it should be populated here as well. Um, please let me know um, what you guys think of this. Um, quick solution, I can put some time into it as well as I can put some time into um, sourcing it, um, sourcing it, uh, making this a hyperlink that goes directly to their customer record. Again, when I went in here, I went to view customer, I actually went into view customer and then I actually had to go to sub customers, right? In order to find the specific customer we were looking for. Um, I believe it was something Turner, what was it again? It was Catherine. So I'd have to go through here and actually find Catherine within here in order to get um, to get it, right? And so this method is actually far more simpler. Um, please let me know your thoughts if this satisfies. And um, remember, in all new forms, it's can populate over here. However, the old forms, it's actually populating. Let me show you. It's actually populating down here and we had to hit edit and prove it to IEI fulfillment in order to get it populated up here as well. However, in the future I made this I made this IEI and fulfillment preferred form. So um, this will be this will this form will populate in the future, not the standard form that was populated before. I uh, hope this helps. Please let me know if you have any questions, anything I can clarify further.